Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the show. I am so excited. I feel like I've seen her all over social. We've just been missing each other. And finally, I have the amazing honor to have Mansa Chipuri on my show. Welcome to the show, Mansa. Thank you for having me. It's such an honor to be on the show and being able to connect with you one-on-one. -on -one. I've seen you on social media as well and super excited to dive in and chat one-on-one -on -one here. I cannot wait. Well, so, so for my listeners, she is an Austin-based real estate investor and a commercial real estate syndicator that has over eight years of investing experience in, the real, in real estate in Austin, aka the Silicon Hills area. She is a realtor and works with investors in the Silicon Hills area and holds a master in electrical and computer engineering from UF. L. She is the host, and we're going to talk about this, of the podcast, The Real Path to BYOB, Be Your Own Boss. This provides a platform for active and passive investors interested in accelerating their wealth building to learn about, from other successful real estate investors and achieve financial freedom. She is also the principal at Silicon Hills Capital Group and co-sponsors multifamily deals with other partners. Her latest is a 416 unit apartment complex deal in Memphis, Tennessee. Super excited to have you on Mansa. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Me too. Super excited to be here. That is such a wealth of information. So let's start with the very, very basics. You went from electrical and computer engineering to real estate. How did that happen? So just to give you a background here, I still have my full-time job. I'm a computer engineering. That's my daytime role. Uh, I grew up in India and growing up back in India, I saw my grandparents and parents fall back on real estate to generate passive income. And as a kid, I never really thought much of it. I was like, okay, that's great. They're getting rental income. But when I came here and I started working and I was monitoring my 401k, it never really grew. And I was wondering to myself, how am I going to retire? And back in India, they inherited those properties so work for them. But for me, although I was investing in Austin here, I didn't see much cash flow and I didn't see a way to scale. So I had no clue how I was going to retire. I like my job, but at some point I wanted the option to be able to control my own time and live life the way I wanted to doing things I'm passionate about. So First thing first, I thought, okay, real estate probably is not a great way to like generate passive income because the investments I had out here in Austin, they were not very cash flowing very much. And despite me taking care of those properties, I was barely able to like meet the maintenance expenses. And this was with single family. And I wasn't exposed to the other aspects of real estate then. So my first instinct was, let's try stock markets. So I learned about stock markets. I took courses and I drove in, like dived into swing trading and day trading along with my full-time job, which was super, 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 super stressful. I just couldn't manage it. I would trade in the morning hours <laughs> for two, two hours, and then I would go to work and I keep monitoring my account. It was the worst thing ever. I did that for a year and then I realized this is not the way it should be. Like there has to be something else. So Real estate was always an interest of me, but I just felt like I was not able to scale with single family and it wasn't generating the passive income for me. So I just felt like there should have been some other way. And I kept exploring more. And that's when I found multifamily. Once I found multifamily and what it can do for someone to generate passive income as well as build long time wealth, I was hooked. I figured like I had to learn about it. And then I joined a mentorship program and once I learned everything, I started partnering with other people. And now I'm doing my first co-sponsored deal, which is a 416 unit Memphis uh, apartment complex. I'm super, super excited about that one. We're under contract. Uh, we are going to be, we actually, we're having our webinar today. So we're going to be closing very soon. Yeah. So excited. I love how you went into detail about your entire process from how you still have your full-time job and that must be that must be super huge to juggle. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about, cause a lot of people are in your shoes right now. They have full-time jobs. Mm. They're a full-time parent. They have something else that they are responsible for that right. big all that we all 
hold and we cannot drop that ball whatever right. it is yeah it's and our you, source of security right like yes yes your yeah. social security your health care whatever it is so how did you keep that going because you said you tried stocks you couldn't keep that going you tried single no. family you couldn't keep that going so yeah. what made the biggest difference jumping into large multifamily Okay, so the biggest difference is like, you don't have to monitor it on a day to day basis, you still first thing is, there is a lot of learning. So I think in multifamily, you need to first be able to get all the learning through a mentor, which is what I did. Or if that's not your uh, approach, if you want to do do passive investments, which is okay, you can still self educate. But if you want to be an active investor, which is what I wanted, because I wanted a second stream of income and also a second area of work, if I wanted to transition over from my full time job. Uh, so I went, uh, took a mentorship program uh, and learned about everything multifamily, like underwriting, marketing, how do you set up a business, LLC, property. I mean, I was already property managing my single family, but, you know, more in depth it, about how multifamily property management works, what are the different areas to look at. So I learned about everything, got that ther- theoretical knowledge, and then went into like more like getting my feet wet into the practical aspects with other partners, because this is a huge business, right? And you don't want to dive into it uh, by yourself because just of how big it is and having uh, other partners who are experienced and are willing to like help you learn and grow is such a huge plus one. And I was fortunate enough to meet wonderful people along the way with who my partner. So that's been a real blessing in this path for me. Well, let's talk about two aspects. You talk about mentorship and then you talk about partnership. So Mm -hmm. how did that mentorship aspect, because did you get, did you have mentorship when you went into stocks? No, I just took an online uh, course that I learned. Did you have mentorship when you went into single family? No. (laughs) So you see where this, where this thought is going. You got mentorship in multifamily and now you are successful. So let's, let's talk about that. How mentorship. I think with, yeah, yeah, that's a really good point you bring up because I think with stocks and single family with the level of investment, right? It's just your money. Mm -hmm. And also it's not running into the millions. So you feel like, okay, you can do it by yourself. So I learned everything by myself, but with multifamily, you are handling a business that's millions of dollars. You're bringing in investors. So you need to really make sure what you are doing and you know the ins and outs of everything. And that's kind of why I took the mentorship program to really learn and get my feet, uh, like, you know, solid footing in in the multifamily space and not just going and self-educating myself because mistakes can be really expensive, right? And it's better to pay upfront and learn from others' mistakes than going out and making your own mistakes. That's that's where I come from. Uh, So... As far as my mentor, this was a happy coincidence because I wasn't exactly looking for mentors. I probably would have started learning out by myself, but this happened like I was just browsing on what I could do in multifamily and maybe if I could connect with others. And my mentor's profile showed up on my LinkedIn and he has a similar background as me. He's from the tech world. He lives in Austin and then he diversified into single family and then multifamily and then switched over full time. So that's, that was my aha moment. Like, wow, this person did exactly what I want to do in the future. And that's it. You know, the the connection you find, like when you see someone who's living the life that you want to in the future, you just connect with them. And then I had a call with him and we just happened to like connect. And yeah, that's how I became. The thing is you made so many valid points when it comes to finding those people. And we'll get to partnerships too, because I fully believe that your mentor is basically another partner. He's he or she is one of the most important, important partners that you can get. But you said some key terms, you made that connection, you found that person that you want to be. So for any of my listeners who are really digging into this, and if you're looking for mentorship, find those people in your life that will give you that hand up, will that you want to be, that will guide you to that goal that you have. So now let's talk about partnership. Now you're diving into all of these co-sponsor multifamily deals. You're looking at deals right now and you're looking at partners. And you said you fell into a great group of partners, which is amazing. So can you, for my listeners, tell me what do you look for when you're looking for partners? 
Primarily, I think uh, my mindset is always about growth and learning. So essentially, when I'm connecting with partners, I want I want that to be the basic mindset because there is no way that someone can know everything, right? No matter how much experience you have. So when I'm out, well, firstly, I got super lucky in this way because uh, I have a podcast, uh, The Real Path to BYOB, because of which I guess I got my name out there. So my partners kind of came looking for me. They reached out to me. It wasn't the other way. So yay to podcasting. Uh, so they reached out to me and then I... I had a conversation with them and one of my partners is part of my mentorship program too, but we never really like discussed about doing deals together. Uh, so they reached out to me. And then once I started interacting with them, I felt that I was in a space which was, which would facilitate my growth and learning. And my partner, like some of my partners are super experienced. They've done like six, seven syndications. They already have like 2000 apartments under their belt as an active sponsor. Like, you know, the, main sponsor so they're super experienced but the thing that really really stood out to me was their ability to answer even my dumb questions and not judging me which is a key if you want to learn because you can't always hold back right and you won't have answers to everything so that was the main thing that which i looked for in my partners uh they were super experienced obviously and they were willing to help me learn and grow and i'm the kind of person who's not going to go back to put effort but I need a space which is going to be uh, conducive to growth. So, so that's how growth. I found my partners. Amazing. So you're looking for a space to grow, someone that will answer your questions, someone that has the experience and somebody that can, can give you the comfort of knowing that they have done this before and you can follow sort of in their footsteps, kind of like a mentor, kind of like a mentor. So right. you're looking- because I'm, this is still a new space for me. I'm mm -hmm. not super experienced. I'm, I'm, I'm experienced in the single family space, but multifamily is still a different game. And you want to essentially partner with someone who has the experience, but also if it's a place where you're always being judged and it's going to be a very strangling, you know, not a, not a not an environment for growth and i think in our current team the way we are structured is uh everyone does different stuff so we all have our roles divided but at the same time everyone's willing to help like the other person if they want to learn so that's been great that is amazing yeah. let's talk about the power of podcasting which is a way that you found your partners yeah so talk about yeah. your podcast talk about what you talk about your podcast and again the podcast name is The Real Path to BYOB. Great name. Be your own boss. Let's talk about it. Thank you. Um, thank you for asking me that. So the podcast really came from uh, a lot of introspection. Uh, essentially, I felt like I have, a, I have a good job in tech, pays well, but just very demanding in terms of time. So I started thinking... Uh, what can, what would I do in my life if time was not, I'm sorry, if money was not a factor, you know, you own your own time. And that's when I felt like you can actually truly be your own boss because then you can control your time and do whatever you're passionate about. So that's where the title came from. And I, I was already into real estate investing, single family and learning about multifamily. So I figured that would be a, you know, a play on words. Like the real path is also like referring to real estate and be your own boss. And as far as what I talk on my podcast, uh, I just bring in people like who have succeeded in transitioning over from their full-time jobs, like whatever it is, being doctors, lawyers, or pilots to real estate investing and now do real estate full-time. And we talk about different strategies, what, uh, what failures they've encountered, what uh, how did they learn? Uh, what are their most uh, productive habits to be successful? So we talk about different things. And my hope with the podcast was essentially to help myself stay inspired because it does get challenging managing a full-time job and doing this on the side. So the goal was basically to help myself and also all my network and listeners stay inspired to start generating a passive income through whatever strategies appeal to them. And then take it from there. So I, I, I cover all strategies, not just multifamily, uh, with different guests. I love it. Podcasting has been a wealth of just information and connections. For sure. And so it's just been it's it's been good for my heart. <laughs> Let's just put sure. it that way. Um, so true. So true. I couldn't agree more. So I started podcasting like 
after COVID's hit. Uh, so it wasn't a time where I could really socialize and network with people one-on-one. But podcasting just completely changed that. You know, being able to connect with someone who has so much experience and getting their insights on what they do and, you know, advice and stuff has just been priceless. Like, I've had so many uh, interviews where just the ideas of my guests really started a new line of thinking in my own mind. So it was, it's an incredible experience. I'm loving it. Fantastic. So if, as soon as you're done listening to this podcast, I want you to go check out the real path to BYOB, be be your own boss. So Mansa, before I let you go, I have two more questions. Mm -hmm. The first one is, what is one actionable step that you can give my listeners right now to take? I think uh, if if your listeners are listening to this podcast, uh, one thing that they need to do is close their eyes and envision a future where money is not an issue. And what would they be doing if that's the case? If it's completely different than the life or the job that they're doing right now, it's time for them to think and plan a future where that would be possible. I love it. I love it. And a piece of advice for me, write it down and look at it every single day. That goal, whatever it is you just imagined, write it down, whether it's a post-it note or a napkin, get it down on paper tape it up somewhere that you can see all the time and and start off with that goal every single day. And the last thing is if my listeners want to get a hold of you, want to learn more about you, how can they find you? Uh, They can reach out to me on social media. I'm on Facebook. Uh, The name of my company is Silicon Hills Capital Group. Uh, I also have my own website, siliconhillscapitalgroup.com. And I'm also on Instagram. Fantastic. So Mansa, thank you so much for being on. I'm so grateful. You were so insightful and thank you for, thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I love chatting with you and I hope to connect with you more one-on-one and bring you on as a guest on my podcast. Thank you very, very much. I cannot wait. Again, that podcast is the real path to BYOB, be your own boss. For my listeners out there, thank you so very much for listening today. I am so incredibly grateful. Now go out and take action. Aloha.